For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about how to download a Linux ISO and install operating system. Okay, so we are going to do that. So you can just go to the uh, web browser and say that um, send OS 7 download. Okay, then you can click on over here on the downloads and it will go to the uh, download page and you can click on your um, CentOS page or uh, mirrors. it will go to the uh, mirrors page and you can click on your um, CentOS and here there are so many ISO files so 8 GB and uh, 1 GB okay there are also 4 GB so the 8 GB version is completely full package which includes every language so that uh, does not uh, recommend it to install over here but you can just go ahead and download this um, sent os 7 4.2 gb version so you can just click on this is and it start downloading over here okay so i already downloaded the sent os 7 so i'm not downloading right now so i can click over here and it will download automatically okay no need to worry so we already see that how we already created the one linux machine uh, one vm on the uh, vmware workstation and now what we have to do that edit your virtual machine settings and uh, click on your cd rom and say use iso file over here and just browse okay and say my iso files are located over here and my centos 7 is located and just click locate your iso file and click open so your iso file will be attached over here and say click ok then start your virtual machine then your um, it will be booted into your um, linux things and here there are some other options okay testing the media which means that your iso file is properly or not because this is if you if you are already written to the optical disk or the innocent CD or the pen drive then you can use this test media because the ISO file may not be have any errors on this because it would be good and troubleshooting will be useful whenever your Linux machine is not booting up or some boot issues so we see that later on this course right currently we are going ahead and uh, install CentOS 7 okay so then it will uh, just take some time to enter the begin installation okay now the welcome screen of the center is on installation and here you can select your keyboard language whatever the language you you prefer i preferred english and uh, click continue after that it will come to the the main screen over here the installation summary screen here you can select your date so which zone you are currently into and uh, that zone you can select it so it automatically set your um, time date and time using based on that time zone and the keyboard language if you want to set any keyboard uh, like if you are using any other keyboard layout you can set that keyboard layout over here and the language support I already selected English so that would be English only and the installation media currently we are not doing any remote installations over here because uh, we using the local installation media which is ISO file and here on the software selection you just click on over here for the first time you just go ahead with the server GUI option and in these packages you just install the compatibility libraries for your previous versions because few of the commands uh, all of the sudden you surprise that uh, if config is not working or some other commands are not working on your linux so if you do not install these compatibility libraries the previous command may not work okay but to avoid that confusion uh, if you want to stay tuned 
uh, with the uh, previous some commands because which are already compatible are uh, the flexible you are already into so that you can just install this compatibility library so that uh, that would be uh, resolved so these are the packages is, which are uh, already is aggregated as a uh, different uh, web servers print servers infrastructure servers the recommended most of the times is the minimal installation for the first time you don't want to work uh, the the bit, little bit difficult on um, cli directly if you do not know anything so that we are going ahead and installing the server gui of, uh, version and it will resolve your dependency packages and say something after this one and let's wait it let's wait so it will automatically check your dependencies and package list in the meanwhile we can go ahead and uh, do an, a destination setup in the sense this uh, hard disk setup we are going to do on a partitions so i do not do on any automatical if you do not know anything or if you don't want to do any partitioning setup you can simply click on automatically configure my partitions it will automatically configure for you but we are the administrator we should know something like uh, we should create it manually then click on uh, i will create partitions manual and click on done and here you can select there are some options standard partitioning lvm partitions and uh, btrfs partitions but we are um, standard partitions you can create it for the um, things you, if you want to practice something or lvm would be a most preferable option later if you want to extend your partitions or do something on it then you can do uh, using the lvm so in this i am not going to do any partitions manually okay so you can click on uh, manually if you want to create a place you can click on the place and select the mount point all the mount point and uh, create it okay or else let it create so maybe i am giving the 15 gb space for uh, our slash and uh, i'm giving a slash boot would be in a 500 mb because this uh, stores your uh, booting files and i'm going ahead and uh, creating home path and the home path is going to be a 5 gb maybe because i am not going to create much files on the my home path and uh, i maybe specify our fab space uh, double into the ram my space already is uh, 4 gb so that i'm going to give 8 gb over here so 8 plus 15 and 5 gb so it is not 40 gb maybe you can create one more uh, maybe var will increase um, var file system so that this is more than enough. actually slash and slash push is more than enough for our operating system but we are going ahead and creating multiple partitions for our um, uh, good structure on operating system and click on done then accept the changes whatever the changes you are going to make it and customize the partitioning and key dump and i'm not going to enable and click on the networking part and say switch off your uh, ethernet and here itself you can configure your customized operate uh, customized ip address for this so manual ip address and add your ip address so whatever the ip address 192 dot uh, maybe whatever the series you already configured on your networking okay i say 2.140 over here and uh, zero and gateway would be 192.168.2.2 so this gateway in uh, ip address and uh, you can see on the network configuration stuff the dns you can give uh, any public dns ip address over here and click save okay our uh, and you can also set up your local machine um, name so i'm going to set up that uh, server dot ARKIT dot local so my machine name would be this one and done so we already set up date keyboard language installation all the stuff okay then security policy we are not going to set up anything over here later we configure it click install and uh, set the root password so it should be more than strong enough the root password would be uh, because if you give weak password you have to click done two times so that it will accept or else it will not accept series so it should be something more complex
something like this okay and you can, if you want to set up some uh, basic user you can set up that user over here so i am set up, setting up my username over here is that um, aravi is my uh, user and uh, make this user as an administrator for some time and give your password and click done that's it then it will take some time to install your uh, rpms and all the packages let's wait for some time i'm pausing this video and uh, after this package installation i will resume this rpms are installed uh, which is doing uh, performing the post installation step tasks installing bootloader and configuration is uh, done almost it is then generating uh, initial ram fs uh, configuration for the booting operating system okay our uh, operating system installation has been completed and you can just click on reboot and it will reboot the uh, your machine and it come up with an operating system later it will ask you a few questions uh, to answer things and um, uh, first time while booting your um, operating system which will ask you to accept your license agreement you can just click on the agreement and click say ok and your network configuration is already connected and see, click finish configuration then your first linux machine is going to be calm that is stop yes and it will asking you to log in uh, on the user and say your password while installing whatever the password you set and say uh, just type that password and click login your centos 7 is ready to rock so this is your first centos how it looks like and you can just click go right click on here and uh, uh, basically it will first time it will ask you to uh, do something like uh, the preferred language and uh, privacy setting all the stuff location services and all the stuff okay then start using your linux machine it will get things started guide is opened and here is your uh, application menu and all the stuff and here you can set up your uh, void connected network and uh, profile settings all the stuff and you can also go to settings and do something on the graphical mode you can also click turn off or restart anything you can do using this button over here okay so but this is not done yet we have to do something after this so our operating system has been installed we have downloaded and installed everything is ready almost but after that what we have to do here it is that okay turn off your uh, virtual machine okay so what you can simply do is that uh, switch to your um, root user okay maybe i forgot the password you can simply say shut down your guest and your operating system is going to be shut down done then later what we uh, you can do is that take the snapshot of that machine okay say that uh, press oh yes in the sense like fresh operating system snapshot so this makes our life easier in the sense uh, after some time if you want to redo a setup so you no need to redo everything so then you can just simply say now clone a machine okay manage and go to the clone and say next and um, select the snapshot of your fresh os next and uh, click a complete full clone and go and uh, now create your um, client machine say lab client any machine name you can say click then your clone will be cloned so that you are going to no need to install again the operating system or no need to create again the one more vm for that so it will automatically create the operating system whatever the settings you done for the server side so 
again one more machine is going to come with one is for server one is for client later client is cloned again create one more snapshot for your um, client machine that's it so your lab setup is Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.